I'm speaking to you today from the back of a van, specifically the back of my camper van. Why am I doing that, you ask? Well, because today I'm going to be reviewing a travel tripod. So this is the Velborn, it's the UT43D-2. Um, it is as you can see, a very, very small, compact little travel tripod, and it has a few little features in it which I think make it a rather exciting proposition. So, first of all, let's talk about the size. When it's all folded up like this, it is actually less than a foot from one length, uh, one side to another. And um, it actually comes in at about 28, Point 0.9, uh, just under 29 centimetres from one end to the other. So that's terrific if you've got a small camera bag or a small backpack and you want to uh, stuff it inside the bag rather than hanging around on the outside or strapped on in the way that quite a lot of them uh, usually have to be. Uh, the other thing about it is that it has a ball head uh, on it. This particular kit comes with the QHD 43D head. Um, it's a little ball head there. It's very tiny and um, it works really nicely. It has a total weight carrying, uh, if you look on the box, of three kilograms. If you look on the website, it says five kilograms. It's one or the other. From my tests, it would work pretty nicely with the uh, Fuji X-T1, even with the 18 to, 30, uh, to 135 lens on it, which is a fairly weighty lens and makes the camera quite top heavy. It was certainly all right with that combination. I wouldn't want to try it with anything bigger. And certainly if you have big DSLRs with big lenses on there, I'd probably want something slightly bigger than this. It really is designed for, you know, slightly smaller uh, camera setups, I would think. Or certainly if you have got a bigger camera body, maybe don't put your biggest lens on the front of it. Uh, but let's talk about the, uh, the the folding up and the legs because they do some really clever things. Um, they, they weren't necessarily the most intuitive to work out from scratch. But once you do work it all out, it is, uh, it's pretty cool, I think. So first of all, the usual sort of thing uh, that we've seen on tripods before, it, they fold back on themselves that way. So to unfold it all, they go outwards uh, like this. Um, and then of course they won't, they won't stay uh, put like that. Um, you need to, uh, this is the first bit that was a little bit complicated. Right in here, in this part along here, you've got a kind of sprung loaded uh, sort of mechanism. It's pretty nicely made actually, it feels very solid and it's all machined out of what I can only assume is a, is a, a bit of aluminium or something. The, the tripod legs themselves I think are all aluminium too. Um, you lift it up, it's sprung loaded and you flip it round. So what you've got on the side of it here, uh, we can see that you can pick it up, there's a, a little spot there and a line. And when it's lined up with a little spot on the line and there's one of those on uh, on each of the sides there, uh, that means that it is in uh, a mode where you can then adjust the legs to, um, to where you want them. Uh, but it gets cleverer than that. What you've got actually on the top here are these little slidey bits. See that? There's a, a slidey bit there and there's a one uh, slidey bit for each of the top of the leg mechanisms. So each one of those slides, let me get this way around so you can see it, there we go, that one slides that way, that one slides that way, and as you can see on the tops of the legs themselves, each of the uh, each of the, the, the things that it slides into is like a little stepped ladder thing, and uh, when they it's a stop, so that when you slide them into the shallowest of the ladders, the kind of rung one, if you like, uh, then the tripod will open out uh, as far as that, which is pretty nice. However, if you wanted to get a slightly lower angle, all you need to do is slide the little slidey things across to the middle one, and you can see that goes down onto the next uh, step there and then the legs open out a little bit wider. It allows you to get the whole thing lower to the ground and more stable, of course, as, as well, because the legs are further apart. Uh, but here's where it gets really trick. If you go onto this last step, the lowest one of the, the ladder, if you like, what you can then do is extend these legs out so that it's almost horizontal with the ground, which means that the whole tripod is then, uh, or the camera is, is, is not really that much more than a foot above, above the ground. It's tremendous if you want to take low angles of things, you know, for time lapse or for just getting interesting angles and stuff. It's really terrific. And you've also got built into the ball head a spirit level as well, which helps keep everything all nice and secure. The other thing that was really quite surprising uh, was when I got it out of the box and I sort of saw it all here I thought well how big can this really extend out but actually this is where it gets really clever each of these feet here there are no obvious uh, like the normal sort of twisty things or the little kind of flippy clicky things on here none of that stuff but actually all you do is you turn this rubber foot on the end and then the leg extends like that and then you lock it by just giving it a little quarter turn just a little pinch back in the right direction 
But this is where it gets cool. You can then, it, it will then do that with the next leg and the next bit and the next bit and the next bit. And you actually get a total of five of these in total, making it that long. Look at that, I'm miles away from you now. This is tremendous. So um, the reality is that this uh, stands up uh, to, um, if, I mean, you know, full height if you're relatively short. If you're six foot, then it won't be full height, but you've got to make some compromises, right? For a thing that folds up to less than a foot and it's a little travel tripod, uh, I think that's terrific. And the build quality of this is absolutely lovely. Uh, I really like the way all of the little springy bits work and the sound of the little clicky things and how easy everything is to move around. And once you've got the hang of this slightly weird uh, mechanism, it kind of makes total sense. Like it was fairly intuitive once I'd got the hang of it. Um, when I wanted to move things around, it, it just kind of did what I wanted it to do. Um, the only thing about this that I would say is the uh, the price is not the cheapest. Um, it sits at um, around about £180 in the UK. If you have a look online, you may be able to find it for a pound or two cheaper. Uh, but regardless, it isn't a cheap tripod, and it's certainly not one that you would have as your main tripod either. Because it doesn't extend out to the height of a, of a full-size tripod, it's not something that you may be using as your only tripod. But if you do travel a lot, then this would be an excellent uh, an, an excellent sort of you know tripod to take around with you. Total weight is about 1.14 kilos, so it's not a terribly um, heavy tripod, even though it's not carbon fiber or anything like that. Um, but it's certainly going to be a lot more durable than a carbon fiber tripod. You know, this thing really will, I think, stand the uh, the, the test of time. Um, it also comes with a little soft pouch, uh, which is uh, just this. It's uh, you know it's nice that they included that. It has a drawstring, which is infinitely preferable to having a a, a zip because because with the free brat bags that come with stuff, you can be guaranteed that the zip will be crap and will therefore break. So the fact that they've got a, a decent bit of drawstring in there is nice. And if you're out camping in the wild somewhere and you need a bit of cord to, I don't know, uh, catch a bear with or whatever you do when you're out in the mountains then uh, who knows that might be useful it has this little strap on the side of it which i don't know if it's supposed to be a shoulder strap but it doesn't really fit as a shoulder strap i don't know why you do that i think the main thing with this is that um you know once you've got it in the bag like that uh, you can just chuck that whole thing in the back of a backpack. And that to me seems like a much more sensible idea. Um, you know, it isn't that much to write home about the bag, but it does, you know, it does come with it. So, you know, why not? That's pretty terrific. Um, I'm a big fan of it uh, as, a, as a general thing, even though it isn't the cheapest thing in the world. Uh, if you do do a, a lot of, um, you know, sort of, you know, outdoorsy type activities and you want a tripod to take with you that doesn't take a lot of space you can't really do that with a lot of the stuff that's on the market which is just badly made it just feels cheap and flimsy and the last thing that you want is for something to just let go on you when you're out in the mountain uh, those little legs for example that just kind of fold out like that um, it's so much better than having the clips because when the clips have snapped off and you're halfway up a mountain there's just no camera shops around to replace it so like this it just feels like it's a very simple design that probably isn't going to uh, go far wrong certainly in the test that I've done with it I've only had it for a couple of weeks but it did seem to be something that held up very nicely so um, if you want to know where to buy this I will give you the links in the uh in the box below um as always if you enjoyed this content uh please subscribe uh that would be tremendous and i'll love you forever and just one more slight thing about this van that i wanted to tell you about this is the introduction of a vehicle that you're going to be seeing a lot more often on this channel uh from the end of next month as i record this now we're on the 19th is it i think it's the 19th uh 19th of february 2017 um i'm actually going to be heading out in this van uh across Europe uh, and I'm going to be leaving at the end of March uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot of videos shot from not only the back of this van but also interesting locations around Europe and um, you know telling you about my trips and my adventures uh, from different parts of the world so uh, definitely subscribe and then you won't miss any of that exciting stuff as the channel moves forward into 2017 so thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon cheers